don't you ever, well, get bored? Well, these eggs are uninspired. Hey, Dad, pass the salt. Clearly can't reach that. I'm taking the leaf out of the table. Don't take out the leaf, son. Or some jelly? Jelly? Do I look like toast to you, Francine? Do I inexplicably taste better when I'm cut at an angle? Did I take a back seat to the bagel in the mid-90s only to regain- All right, Stan. Why the tears? I've been on 12 dates since Jeff left, and everyone's been a disaster. I'm giving up on men. Steve. Oh, this could be my big chance. Stan, must you spank him? What? It's not a big deal. I don't even hit him that hard. Look, I'll show you. Oh, my. What do you mean, oh, my? It's supposed to hurt. No, no, it does. It... I'll take another. So, how do I tell Stan that spanking turns me on? You can't tell Stan. He's a prude, dude. <sighs> sure it's not. Whatever. How do you like me now? Steve, you disgrace the hoop. Now take Klaus and go to your room. Yes! What the hell was that, Steve? What? You didn't check the ball, dick! Game point, and you pull that crap? What's going on out here? Thou who tricketh thine husband into sexy spanking shall be banished to the depths of hell! That's not in the Bible! Let me see that! Uh, uh... Francine, what are you... Have you been setting Steve up this whole time? Yes, I'm very bad. You should spank me. Why would you do that to him? Spank me and I'll tell you. You piece of garbage. Okay, well, when you come to your senses, you know where to find me. I'm sure by now she's ready to repent for her nasty spanking fetish. So, oh, Francine, are you ready to admit you're a sex pervert so you can come back home and pick up my ties off the closet floor? And then lose his interest and realizes he has to go home and take a huge deuce. Talk to you later! Because with the blast I had, that makes two blasts! <laughs> you know, just when I thought there were no good guys left in the world, here you were, right in front of me the entire time. And put aside your foolish pride. There are fantasies and holes that need exploring. Close your eyes and picture Francine as a French maid, instead of wearing that same dress that's sort of pink. You don't really eat it. You just pretend. Go like this. Oh, Roger. Why can't she just admit she's a deviant so she can come home? Deviant? I love sleeping with Francine, and I'm used to my routine. But you think it may be time to make a change. So I'll try out something new, like when Carradine turned blue. Who am I to think my wife is sick and Imagine yourself living without limits. You've got whips and chains. Who needs a shrink? Cause if you watch me with the lady... Francine, I understand you now. Sometimes it takes a lavish song and dance number to make a man realize he was wrong. Oh, Stan, are you sure? Yes, but it turns out there's some stuff I'd like you to do to me. <laughs> yes, way down deep inside I've got a kink. I've got to bring Francine home and let her know I've found my kink. But I'm looking at this list and... Well, the things you want me to do to you? I mean, it's crazy! There's nothing crazy about a husband and wife getting on the same sexual page, Francine. Sir, your candle is ready. I mean bad! Like Los Angeles International Airport bad! Hey, LAX! You've just been dadded! <laughs> Nobody's safe! Sorry, man. I'm just not into her. Look, if you have to dump my sister, I'm happy for you.
Well, it was the perfect plan. Nobody got hurt. Good acting, Barry. Yeah. I'm such an idiot. I'm... I'm gay. What? You are too funny, Snot. Now, come on, stop kidding around and kiss me. Principal Lewis, what are you doing here? I'm here to watch you two get it on. Being watched is one of my kinks, Francine. And who better to watch us have sex than our son's principal? What's Marguerite doing here? Dark Star is there. Oh. oh, how do you feel, honey? Not great. I guess I overdid it with the whole kinky thing, huh? Oh, Stan, this is all my fault. It's like he can't get enough. I've created a monster. I was hoping, afraid, this might happen. We need to shock the beast back into his cage. We gotta push him over the edge. I know what I have to do. I am so glad you joined the team. What made you finally do it? Oh, just seemed like fun. Great game today, Francine. So glad you joined the team. Good girl. That was a good play. Why, you ask it! Which of ye be ripe and ready? Over the hill and over the dale and dale and dale. Hey, Francine! Brenda? Oh my god, I haven't seen you in ten years! Smoking a big fat dookie. Finally! I've been sitting here like a dry-throated bitch, you duke fiend! Stan! The poor guy's just trying to do his job. Well, he should do it better. I do my job right. I'm always... <coughs> Meat slap! <laughs> well, he was a little rough around the edges, but I smoothed him right out. Well, why don't you and Mr. Smooth come to my wedding next Saturday? Oh! <gasps> oh! If you want money, get a job. How am I gonna do that? Uh. I may be able to help you, Stephen. Roger, what are you doing back there? I was on the phone with my friend Douglas. He's trying to figure out what kind of car he should buy. Who always look pretty! And I've been taking care of business! Every day! Taking care of business! Every way! Wait, were you trying to tell me something? Yes! I want to bring you to this wedding! Labs, now that we're in the air, I can tell you our top secret objective. Osama Bin Laden. But sir, they, they already got Bin Laden in Pakistan. <laughs> silly Smith, silly goose. Avery, what happened? He was riding a motorcycle 490 miles an hour through downtown Tokyo. <laughs> Stan? <laughs> and this is the TV room, where you love to watch shows about dancing and never shows about World War II. Francine, you shouldn't mess with Stan's mind like this. But out, Klaus. I don't know who I am. Oh, it's okay. I'll help you remember. You are... Well, why don't you and Mr. Smooth come to my wedding next Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. You are? Come on, rookie, stay close. But not too close. I swerve a lot because I accidentally bought prescription sunglasses, which I don't need, but I'm too embarrassed to return. Oh. <laughs> the new Stan is a great listener. And she was all, you told that to her face? Mm. And I was all, no, that's why I'm telling you, so you can tell her. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm ready to go back to work. Work? Well, yeah, I must have a job, right? Where do I work again? Pleasure doing business with you, Cooper, you sleazebag. But Roger, isn't this a little, you know, Unethical? Do this job like a bitch, it'll take forever to get that soda squirter. Stan, how was work? Something just doesn't feel right. If Comfortech shipped those frames last week, they should be here by now. But 
Man, we've been in the futon game since 95, dude. Remember remember selling futons to college kids out of that old truck you bought from the teacher's daddy? Oh. Uh, it's okay. We'll get you there, Stan. Delroy is here for you. Um, when you were a boy, your father was raped to that song. Oh. Okay, three weeks of straight hustling. Now it's time to get paid, son. Bam! 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 Seven dollars and thirty-two cents. Here's your cut. A Canadian quarter? I thought we were splitting things down the middle. Sorry. It is a picture of love. <laughs> Take it easy, Stan. It's just a lame-ass puzzle metaphor. And he has the emotional availability of Tom Hanks in Sleepless in Seattle. Let's see. And he's a great lover. A gentleman in the streets, but a thirsty dog in the sheets. You are my husband, but you're not this. You're actually an insensitive jerk who works for the CIA. Is that some kind of joke? This isn't a time for humor, Francine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. It sounds like you could use a little help. What are you dorks looking at? Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Stephen. Please stop hurting my body! Stan! <laughs> then she hit me in front of everyone! Quit your job. I'll take care of you. This song goes out to a man who, deep down inside, is an insensitive son of a bitch. <gasps> and he's the only man I ever wanted. That's for being confusing! What have I done? Because we fit together like the pieces of a puzzle. Oh my god, I get it now. Brenda, I am sorry. I said some real nasty things about your vows. I, I need to be alone. It's all mine! Taking care of business!